Today, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Anime World Tournament, where all anime collide. For Gilgamesh starting off crazy. Okay, Gilgamesh. Oh no, nah, he's trying to put in. He's trying to put him down early. Hagaku right here. Oh yeah, Golden Fiction. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mmm. Into the into the floor. Oh yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your ISO. And as y'all see, we're back here again with the Anime World Tournament, man. We're coming here with some crazy matchups, moving on faster and faster and faster throughout the bracket, man. We're coming here with Aria Tier 3 against Lamillion Tier 3. So we're going to be getting into that matchup, seeing some stuff, seeing some crazy ass fights. Actually, it started off a Lantern and Aang, both Tier 3 as well. And shit, I don't even know. I feel like some of these fights are definitely going to be crazy. But we're going to start it off with Lancer Tier 3 against Aang Tier 3. And honestly, let's just get into it. All right, all right. The first fight of today's video, man. Definitely bound to be good, bro. Whoever wins this is going to go on to the next round of versus Captain Levi. Who we seen destroy Kira last round. So we got to see, can either one of these people, you know, put in that work? We got to see who's stronger out of Lancer and uh, obviously Aang, the last airbender. Okay. Right now, Aang is putting in that pain with the fire combos, the ice. Feel me, I've seen a little bit of water earth obviously and then uh lancer's trying to get close Aang having a lot of versatile combos from the air from the ground certain things like that so obviously it's going to be hard for lancer to put in that work lance already in his first form but starting to pick up where he left off at he started off slow and now he's starting to combo up a lot more uh we gotta see what happens for real okay lancer kind of getting comboed up there we go lancer here we go lancer okay Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, hit him with a gauge bowl. Lancer going into guts now. In his final, now he's in his final life and his final state. Lancer actually has nothing else here. He actually has to, you know, put in the work here, or he's actually out for the count. He's putting in work, but Aang just has the range. So that's one thing. Lancer has to get close as fast as possible. Lancer having some combos there, but I don't think he's gonna be strong enough to get close enough. He it was a very close match, but Lancer falls there. All right, now we got Aria Tier 3 going against Lamillion Tier 3, and this is bound to be another one of those good type matchups. You know, two strong Tier 3s, two very strong people for their teams. Obviously, we got Miscellaneous Aria going against Lamillion, who was uh, was one of the stronger people on the My Hero Academia squad. We got to see what happens here. Lamillion getting some counter counters in early. Comboing up a little bit. Aria comboing up a little bit back. Okay. And we know both of them do have modes, so, you know, the, the mode is really going to make the difference there. Okay, Aria kind of outspeeding Lemillion a little bit. Definitely getting the damage off of Lemillion. Okay, there we go. Lemillion combo on the through the ground, following up, chasing Aria down, not letting her get away in these combos. Counter, smart counter there. Okay, Aria getting a grab off there, starting on off the combo on Lemillion. And I'm not gonna lie, they're going at it right now. They're definitely going at it. She she had the advantage at first, and then Lemillion had the advantage. They're kind of trading blows on each other right now, just testing the waters is what it looks like. And they're kind of clashing and stuff. This is a W battle. This is a W battle. Okay. Lamillion trying to make sure not to let the range get too big between them. That's one thing. She can range you, but Lamillion will go underground and chase you back down. You know what I mean? He's not going to let you run, run away too far. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lamillion definitely getting off the damage that he needs to get right now. Okay. Aria transforming. So does Lamillion. Lamillion transforms there as well. Now he has Nejere Hado boosting his attacks. And um, I don't know what her mode does specifically, but I know that they're going to start going at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the Nezure Hado boost, the Hado boost, I'm not gonna lie, Lamillion's definitely chasing uh chasing her down, doing some pretty good damage. She's trying to get Lamillion with some of these grabs, but as y'all know, this permeation is helping him. And honestly, oh they're going, yo, they're teleporting all around. Now it's the W battle. But Lamillion ends off Aria there with a little over half health. We got Gilgamesh tier three going against Mitsuki, who's a tier two. We gotta see what happens here. Off rip Gilgamesh starting off crazy. Okay, Gilgamesh. Oh no, nah, he's trying to put in, he's trying to put him down early. Okay. Hey, yeah, already, off rip already knew it was going to be a little bit of a problem. As y'all know, Mitsuki is one of the newer people that we haven't got to see too much of yet. So we're going to have to see how he does. Gilgamesh is going to be a good test. As we know, Gilgamesh is pretty strong. So we got to see what happens here. Gilgamesh trying to back up, create some range. Okay. Okay. 
Mitsuku creating a clone here, which is kind of smart, obviously, to help him get a little closer. It said Mitsuku went into win style, which I'm guessing, okay, lightning style. Trying to catch Gilgamesh with the snake. And oh my god, Gilgamesh is trying to run him down right now. There we go. Okay, this is an intense battle for the start off. Okay. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. Okay, Gilgamesh going into mode, I believe. Oh, yeah, and this lightning style is definitely putting it into work. Okay, yep, Gilgamesh is in the mode. He brings out the chains. Babylon. Doing very good damage with the chains. Yep, the chains. Here we go again. The chains. Mitsuki getting out with a snake clone, which is which is a, definitely a W strategy with some lightning style attacks. Oh, yeah, Mitsuki's definitely putting in that pain right now. Oh, what is that? Oh, this thing ran up him with a Chidori. That's what it looked like. Okay. Gilgamesh getting an advantage right now. As you know, Mitsuki. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mitsuki going into mode now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Another Chidori type attack. That's definitely what he needs in this type of battle. I'm not going to lie. This is extremely close. Okay. A clone coming out here. They got Gilgamesh surrounded. Oh, no. Gilgamesh. And Gilgamesh falls there in an intense battle, but the new Mitsuki was just stronger than he was. All right, all right, all right. Now we got a tier three going against a tier one. Early on, Zenitsu starting off with some nice combos. And, you know, we're, I'm thinking, are we going to see an upset here? Or is Kumagawa going to put this boy down? Because Kumagawa was a monster. We know Kumagawa was a monster. And we got to see what he does for real. But we know Kagaku was Zenitsu is very dangerous. Okay, Zenitsu hitting a lot of these uh, Thunderclap flashes. Okay. All fiction. Nice little damage in that combo. Okay. Right now, this is pretty close. Okay. Then it's doing some good damage there. Some nice damage. Might be better than some good damage. Okay. Yep. Kumagawa with some counter there. Yep. I'm not going to lie. Right now, it's very close. It's a close battle. Okay. Kumagawa with some combos. Pulling all these different swords. Okay. And there we go. Then it's going into mode. This is where he's gonna have Kagoko on the side. And yeah, this is where I man's gonna get very dangerous for my boy. My boy uh Kumagawa. But Kumagawa's not not too scared with that girl on his back. He said me and Shawnee taking the win. Okay, this nigga got Zenitsu and Kagaku right here. Oh yeah, golden fiction. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's pretty good damage. Okay, what is this? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, Kumagawa always pulling out some crazy shit out of his bag. Oh, yeah, he said you want to be a swordsman. I got a swordsman for you, Zenitsu. I got a swordsman for you, Zenitsu. Oh, yeah. And all fiction looks like it might take the day here. Unless Zenitsu can pull out something crazy. That's some good damage. That's some great damage. More than good. Okay, Zenitsu in the air. It gets hit with the all fiction from far away. Giving that boy Kumagawa the victory. All right, Kira tier three versus Garo. No, Garo, Garo tier three versus Rocket League tier three in a dojo, which is kind of fire. It seems like they're having like kind of like a maybe a little bit of like a battle of, of martial arts, a battle of hands. Okay. Okay. Of course, they're going at it right now. We got the metal bat assist. Garo putting in work right now. All I can say is that he's putting this boy Rocket League down right now. Oh, this nigga Garo was mad high in the air. Okay. Rock Lee getting some hits in, finally. Started off very slow, but Rock Lee is one to bring it back, you know, off his combos. He does put in that work. Okay, Metal Bat assist. Okay, now we got Rock Lee going into the gates. Yup. My Mayor Lotus into some combos. Yup. Yup. Oh, yeah, Rock Lee got the combos. That's one thing. He'll he'll stretch your health off them combos alone. Okay, Metal Bat. Yup. And either one of these boys, they're both extremely dangerous. I can see either one of them coming out of this battle, you know, with a, vict a victor. Okay. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mm. Into the into the floor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely did some good damage. Okay, here we go. Now we got we got this boy Cosmic Garo going against Gate, Gate Gates Rock Lee. Oh, okay, Cosmic Garo with the damage. Is Rock Lee looked here? Okay, Rock Lee catches some combos. Into two primary lotuses. Into three. Oh, this nigga feeling different. So it's Goro, though. Oh, this is going to be a photo finish. Into the primary Lotus. Rock Lee takes that one there in an intense battle between him and Garo. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got my boy Greninja playing in some combos. 
feel me some 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 nice little work off rip and this is the final battle two tier a tier three bond going to tier four greninja we got to see who wins this and you know obviously who moves on to the next round in today's video man okay bond putting in some intense combos off rip okay okay pulling out his heart there good hits I'm not gonna lie, right now, Bond's starting off very aggressive, showing why he's a tier above Greninja, but Greninja is tier four, which I don't agree with. I feel like he's at least a tier three level of strength. We gotta see in today's video, is this gonna be an upset or will he actually fall and, you know, prove that he is tier four? Right now, he's putting in some good combos, I can't admit. Holy shit, I'm not gonna lie, Bond's hitboxes are crazy. There we go. Greninja getting some good hits in. Okay, and they both have modes. As you'll know, Bond can regenerate in his and Greninja, oh yeah, Shiny Greninja, here we go. Ash Shiny Greninja. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's great damage on Greninja's part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Greninja right now has the advantage heavily. And Oh, there we go. Okay, Bond. I think he... I don't think that was his mode, though. I think he still has his mode. He can pop, obviously, through his ultimate attack. Yep, here we go. Okay, here we go. Then Bond going into his ultimate here now. And Bond and Greninja are both locked in for this final fight. Okay. Greninja got the damage with the shiny mode. He has the speed. Greninja could be the victor here as a tier four, causing upset of the final match. But I can also see Bomb bringing it back because he has double recovery on now. Yup. Okay. Okay. Oh, this nigga. Oh, is this? Is this hell? Hell's whatever that shit called Bond. Oh, he has another mode. Okay. Something I didn't even expect to see in today's video. This nigga got the health it on. Oh, no, nah, this is actually drippy. Oh, but Greninja still takes the W even over Bond in his hell mode fit or whatever it's called. But that that was definitely a tough fight, man. Let me show you guys the bracket so you guys can see next video's fights, man. As you all know, lastly, we did see Greninja take down Bond in a upset, which is crazy because I didn't even know Bond had that extra mode. But we have Nedzuru versus Rias, Tier 4 versus a Tier 3. Ogichi a Tier 3 against Tier 2 Tanjiro. Stark Tier 3 versus Gojo, Tier 1. Finally seeing some more Tier 1s pop back out. Mitsuri a Tier 4 against Tier 2 Guts. Then we have Bakugo Tier 4 against Broly Tier 4. Finishing off with Deku Tier 4 against Nero Tier 3. As you all know, man, we're moving through the second bracket. I mean, you know, obviously the second bracket really fast. We're already way more than halfway done with this one. And shit's been flying, man. So I hope you enjoyed the video, man. And we out of here.